This is my iPhone 13, which you may have seen in another video. Today, we're going to focus on this instead, my clear case, which as you can see, is a bit yellowed. And while I think it looks pretty cool and adds character, there's a group of people that think it looks gross. Instead of buying a new clear case, I wanted to see if there was a way to take our old yellowed cases and turn them clear again, and that's what we're going to explore in today's video. Before we begin, I think it's important to quickly understand why clear cases yellow in the first place. After a quick Google search, we find out that UV, or ultraviolet light, is the main culprit. Now, what's a major source of UV light that we come in contact with every day? That's right, this is the sun. For those who don't go outside, this big ball of burning plasma in the sky basically makes the world function and also puts out a bunch of UV light, occasionally hitting your clear case and causes the silicone to oxidize and turn yellow. Now to fix this, the TLDR from page 1 of Google says we can use hydrogen peroxide to possibly reverse this process. With the extra oxygen, it binds to the oxide molecules in the silicone to make oxygen gas and hopefully leave behind clear silicone. In order to make this reaction work, we need a good source of UV light. And what's a good source of UV light? That's right. This almost feels like a Thanos meme or something. Now, I understand there may be some of you who are doubting this process, and I don't blame you, because it does sound a bit like sorcery. But there is some legitimacy to this method. This is my original PlayStation, which I retrobrighted using hydrogen peroxide and sticking it out in the sun. Albeit, I did a really sloppy job. But, with the sloppiness, you can see the difference in plastic color before and after restoring it. One thing to note is for my PlayStation, I did use a higher concentration peroxide normally used to dye hair. This is compared to the regular dollar store stuff I'll be using for my clear case today, and I'm not sure how much of a difference it'll make, but I do know that I'm very cheap and didn't want to buy the good stuff again. Anyways, we'll assemble our peroxide, a glass dish, our clear case, and get to work. I'll put my case and peroxide into the dish and make sure it's submerged before setting it outside in a sunny spot. I'm starting this process in the morning to get the best effect. Coming back to it later, we see some bubbling, which is a promising sign of something reacting, or just evaporating because it's sitting on a hot rock outside in the sun. After a quick change of scenery, our dish will sit in a new spot that'll be sunny for the rest of the day. After going to work, coming back at night, finding out it rained at some point, we'll bring the dish back inside to see the final results. After bringing our dish back inside, we can pull our case out to see not much has happened. Looking really closely, the case might have become one shade less yellow than what we started with, but that might just be a lighting thing. The back panel is clear, but it was also clear when we started, so there's not really any change there. Overall, I might take another crack at this at some point, but that's only when I have a need to buy high concentration peroxide again, and until then, I don't think it's feasible just for a clear case because of the cost. Besides that, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.